Hi, welcome to Meditating the Word. Whether you're just joining us or if you've been here since day one, I'm so glad you're here. We're reading the entire Bible this year, following the blueletterbible.com reading plan. If you'd like to download a copy, you'll find a link in the notes. As always, I'm reading from the World English Bible, but you can follow along in your favorite translation. If you haven't subscribed to this podcast yet, go ahead and click subscribe now. That way, you won't miss any episodes. This is Day 78. Today, we're reading Deuteronomy 24-27. through The Fifth Book of Moses, commonly called Deuteronomy, chapters 24-27. through When a man takes a wife and marries her, then it shall be, if she finds no favor in his eyes, because he has found some unseemly thing in her, that he shall write her a certificate of divorce, put it in her hand, and send her out of his house. When she is departed out of his house, she may go and be another man's wife. If the latter husband hates her, and writes her a certificate of divorce, and puts it in her hand, and sends her out of his house, or if the latter husband dies, who took her to be his wife, her former husband, who sent her away, may not take her again to be his wife after she is defiled, for that would be an abomination to the Lord. You shall not cause the land to sin, which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance. When a man takes a new wife, he shall not go out in the army, neither shall he be assigned any business. He shall be free at home one year, and shall cheer his wife whom he has taken. No man shall take the mill or the upper millstone as a pledge, for he takes a life in pledge. If a man is found stealing any of his brothers of the children of Israel, and he deals with him as a slave or sells him, then that thief shall die. So you shall remove the evil from among you. Be careful in the plague of leprosy that you observe diligently and do according to all that the Levitical priests teach you. As I commanded them, so you shall observe to do. Remember what the Lord your God did to Miriam by the way as you came out of Egypt. When you lend your neighbor any kind of loan, you shall not go into his house to get his pledge. You shall stand outside and the man to whom you lend shall bring the pledge outside to you. If he is a poor man, you shall not sleep with his pledge. You shall surely restore to him the pledge when the sun goes down, that he may sleep in his garment and bless you. It shall be righteousness to you before the Lord your God. You shall not oppress a hired servant who is poor and needy, whether he is one of your brothers or one of the foreigners who are in your land within your gates. In his day you shall give him his wages, neither shall the sun go down on it, for he is poor and sets his heart on it, lest he cry against you to the Lord, and it be sin to you. The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. You shall not deprive the foreigner or the fatherless of justice, nor take a widow's clothing in pledge, but you shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt, and the Lord your God redeemed you there. Therefore I command you to do this thing. When you reap your harvest in your field and have forgotten a sheaf in the field, you shall not go out again to get it. It shall be for the foreigner, for the fatherless, and for the widow that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. When you beat your olive tree, you shall not go over the boughs again. It shall be for the foreigner, for the fatherless, and for the widow. When you harvest your vineyard, you shall not glean it after yourselves. It shall be for the foreigner, for the fatherless, and for the widow. You shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt. Therefore. I command you to do this thing. 
If there is a controversy between men, and they come to judgment, and the judges judge them, then they shall justify the righteous and condemn the wicked. It shall be, if the wicked man is worthy to be beaten, that the judge shall cause him to lie down and to be beaten before his face, according to his wickedness, by number. He may sentence him to no more than forty stripes. He shall not give more, lest if he should give more and beat him more than that many stripes, then your brother will be degraded in your sight. You shall not muzzle the ox when he treads out the grain. If brothers dwell together, and one of them dies and has no son, the wife of the dead shall not be married outside to a stranger. Her husband's brother shall go into her and take her as his wife and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her. It shall be that the firstborn whom she bears shall succeed in the name of his brother who is dead, that his name not be blotted out of Israel. If the man doesn't want to take his brother's wife, Then his brother's wife shall go up to the gate to the elders and say, My husband's brother refuses to raise up to his brother a name in Israel. He will not perform the duty of a husband's brother to me. Then the elders of his city shall call him and speak to him. If he stands and says, I don't want to take her, then his brother's wife shall come to him in the presence of the elders and loose his sandal from off his foot and spit in his face. She shall answer and say, So shall it be done to the man who does not build up his brother's house. His name shall be called in Israel, the house of him who had his sandal removed. When men strive against each other, and the wife of one draws near to deliver her husband out of the hand of him who strikes him, and puts out her hand and grabs him by his private parts, then you shall cut off her hand. Your eyes shall have no pity. You shall not have in your bag diverse weights, one heavy and one light. You shall not have in your house diverse measures, one large and one small. You shall have a perfect and just weight. You shall have a perfect and just measure, that your days may be long in the land which the Lord your God gives you. For all who do such things, all who do unrighteously, are an abomination to the Lord your God. Remember what Amalek did to you by the way, as you came out of Egypt, how he met you by the way, and struck the rearmost of you, all who were feeble behind you, when you were faint and weary, and he didn't fear God. Therefore it shall be, when the Lord your God has given you rest from all your enemies all around in the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance to possess it, that you shall blot out the memory of Amalek from under the sky. You shall not forget. It shall be when you have come into the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance, possess it and dwell in it, that you shall take some of the first of all the fruit of the ground, which you shall bring in from the land that the Lord your God gives you. You shall put it in a basket, and shall go to the place which the Lord your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. You shall come to the priest, who shall be in those days, and tell him, I profess today to the Lord your God that I have come to the land which the Lord swore to our fathers to give us. The priest shall take the basket out of your hand, and set it down before the Lord your God's altar. You shall answer and say before the Lord your God, My father was a Syrian, ready to perish. He went down into Egypt and lived there, few in number. There he became a great, mighty, and populous nation. The Egyptians mistreated us, afflicted us, and imposed hard labor on us. Then we cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers. The Lord heard our voice and saw our affliction our toil, and our oppression. The Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand, with an outstretched arm, with great terror, with signs, and with wonders. And he has brought us into this place and has given us this land. 
a land flowing with milk and honey. Now behold, I have brought the first of the fruit of the ground, which you, the Lord, have given me. You shall set it down before the Lord your God, and worship before the Lord your God. You shall rejoice in all the good which the Lord your God has given to you, and to your house, you and the Levite, and the foreigner who is among you. When you have finished tithing all the tithe of your increase in the third year, which is the year of tithing, then you shall give it to the Levite, to the foreigner, to the fatherless, and to the widow, that they may eat within your gates and be filled. You shall say before the Lord your God, I have put away the holy things out of my house, and also have given them to the Levite, to the foreigner, to the fatherless, and to the widow, according to all your commandment which you have commanded me. I have not transgressed any of your commandments, neither have I forgotten them. I have not eaten of it in my morning, neither have I removed any of it while I was unclean, nor given of it for the dead. I have listened to the Lord my God's voice. I have done according to all that you commanded me. Look down from your holy habitation from heaven and bless your people Israel and the ground which you have given us as you swore to our fathers, a land flowing with milk and honey. Today the Lord your God commands you to do these statutes and ordinances. You shall therefore keep and do them with all your heart and with all your soul. You have declared today that the Lord is your God and that you would walk in his ways, keep his statutes, his commandments, and his ordinances, and listen to his voice. The Lord has declared today that you are a people for his own possession, as he has promised you, and that you should keep all his commandments. He will make you high above all nations that he has made, in praise, in name, and in honor, and that you may be a holy people to the Lord, your God, as he has spoken. Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandment which I command you today. It shall be on the day when you shall pass over the Jordan to the land which the Lord your God gives you, that you shall set yourself up great stones and coat them with plaster. You shall write on them all the words of this law when you have passed over, that you may go into the land which the Lord your God gives you, a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has promised you. It shall be, when you have crossed over the Jordan, that you shall set up these stones which I command you today. On Mount Abel you shall coat them with plaster. There you shall build an altar to the Lord your God, an altar of stones. You shall not use any iron tool on them. You shall build the Lord your God's altar of uncut stones. You shall offer burnt offerings on it to the Lord your God. You shall sacrifice peace offerings and shall eat there. You shall rejoice before the Lord your God. You shall write on the stones all the words of this law very plainly. Moses and the Levitical priests spoke to all Israel, saying, Be silent and listen, Israel. Today you have become the people of the Lord your God. You shall therefore obey the Lord your God's voice and do his commandments and his statutes, which I command you today. Moses commanded the people the same day, saying, These shall stand on Mount Gerizim to bless the people when you have crossed over the Jordan. Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Joseph, and Benjamin. These shall stand on Mount Ebal for the curse. Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. With a loud voice, the Levites shall say to all the men of Israel, Cursed is the man who makes an engraved or molten image, an abomination to the Lord, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, 
and shuts it up in secret. All the people shall answer and say, Amen. Cursed is he who dishonors his father or his mother. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who removes his neighbor's landmark. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who leads the blind astray on the road. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who withholds justice from the foreigner, fatherless, and widow. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with his father's wife. He dishonors his father's bed. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with any kind of animal. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who lies with his mother-in-law. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who secretly kills his neighbor. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who takes a bribe to kill an innocent person. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is he who doesn't uphold the words of this law by doing them. All the people shall say, Amen. Father God, thank you for your many blessings. We rejoice in all the good that you've given us. And it's our pleasure to tithe on the increase. We give generously because you have given generously to us. You are our God, and we will serve you with all of our heart and with all of our soul. We will walk in your ways and listen to your voice. Thank you for calling us your own. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Did you know we're on Facebook? You can join our community and share your thoughts about today's reading. You'll find a link in the notes. If you've never read the Bible all the way through before, congratulations. You're really making progress. Why not help spread the word and invite a friend to join you. And if you could take just a moment to rate and review the podcast, that will also help others find it. I want to thank you for joining me on this journey. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and know that I'm praying for you as we journey together. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.